good morning, everyone. I'm Holland, one of the marketing and admissions officers at the University of the Thai Chamber of Commerce, UTCC ISM. So here with me is Mr. Figo. He's our current global MBA student, and he's from Indonesia. Actually, he's our only Indonesia student here. And since we are, you know, facing this COVID-19 pandemic and we cannot actually travel, I'm going to get him to tell us about his home country in a few minutes. But before that, let's talk about his, you know, student life at UTCC and how did he come to hear about this university. So I'm just going to pass it to him. Mr. Figo, good morning. Hi, morning. Morning. So could you share with us, how did you apply to study at UTCC ISM? And did you get any scholarship? Please share with us. Yes, um, thank you, Holland, for your opportunity. It is an opportunity for me to, it's an honor for me to share about myself and my life in UTCC. So uh, actually, yes, I got scholarship in UTCC. Uh, and I know this uh, university from my colleagues, from my uh, work in like three years ago uh, actually uh, he become uh, he became a guest lecturer here and then uh, he know he knew that uh, i want to i have a dream to pursue my uh, study overseas so he just offered me the opportunity do you want to go to overseas to continue study and then i oh. said yes and i said uh, where in where in, where and then he said uh, in Bangkok, Thailand, they have a good uh, university in in, the, in there. And then I, I see the website of UTCC and I, actually I went to UTCC for once, uh, one year before I enroll to mm. uh, this campus. And then I have a good insight, good, uh, good impression, first good first impression to UTCC and then I decide to, okay, I will go to this university. Mm, I see. So you got then, you know, some information from your friend. So yes. now that like two years is almost done for you, you know, this program. So how has that been? Has it been like, you know, too fast, too slow? So can you share with us your learning experiences here? Yeah, actually too fast, you know, I mean, like, uh, because of the COVID-19 situation, actually, I just enjoy my offline class for one semester because mm -hmm in the next semester in my second semester and then third semester until my last semester here i just do it online i mean like it just just from home like yeah it's too fast for me and then uh, uh i can say uh, not this is not a the university fault because who who know uh, there will be a virus right i mean like yeah mm. but i think too fast yeah, and it's a little bit not enjoy my because of the coffee station, my study, yeah. Yeah, so you would rather like prefer um, in on campus rather than online. If I were you, I would probably, you know, feel the same way as well. Well, now that you achieve your, like you study global MBA, mm -hmm. so has this program fulfilled your goals or what do you plan to do after you graduate with this degree? Oh, yes, um, actually the program helped me a lot to improve myself first because uh, the environment here like i said uh, very internationally uh, i get i got a lot of friends from another countries not only from southeast asia but also from another continent like america and africa so it helped me a lot to build my international connection to establish my business and then oh. the, the teachers here also always encourage the student including me to do better than before, yeah. Yes, the professors and lecturers here are, you know, really professionals and they care for their students, yes, don't they? If, if I uh, can add something, the university is also a fast response, you know? I said mm -hmm. before that I not enjoy the study here because of COVID-19, but uh, at the first time when COVID occurred, the university, they did fast and they, they uh they established an online system so yeah we not we, we were not uh uh yeah waste any time here wasting we, we were not wasting time here 
Wow, thank you. Yes. So now thank you for sharing with us your like student life at UTCC ISM. Now let's move on to your home country. You're from Indonesia, right? Now some of us may have not been to Indonesia before. For me, I have never been to Indonesia. I would love to go there. So can you share with us some information about your home country? Sure. Well, you never been to Indonesia? No, never. It's on my bucket list. We are a neighbor country, you know. I know, maybe, I know. Maybe I will share my uh, PPT to explain more properly about my Ooh, country in Indonesia. Okay, uh, can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Okay, so, okay. The, my country, the official name of uh, my country is Republic of Indonesia. And then this one is uh, our country logo. This is a bird called Garuda. Garuda is a my mythological animal from I think from a Sanskrit uh, history. And then, mm. yeah, if you see the the golden color, it means prosper. And then this one, if you see the uh, shield, this is symbolize uh, our country pillars. We have five pillars. The first one is uh, the star, the god, and then the bull head is the it means it means the population guided by wisdom so wisdom and then uh, this tree in the right side the tree is uh, indonesian unity and then the chain the chain is uh, about the justice and civilized humanity and the last one is the rice paddy and cotton it means social justice for all indonesian and if you see the words here, Bineka Tunggal Ika, it, mm -hmm. uh, it, the meaning of Bineka Tunggal Ika is unity in diversity. Because why unity in diversity? Because Indonesia have, uh, has 270 million people. It uh, consists from a lot of ethnics, like uh, more than 1,000 ethnics in Indonesia. And then you can see because our uh, land area, our country area, including uh, land and water in total is 1.4 million kilometers square from mm -hmm. uh, it's like uh, if i'm not mistaken the 14 largest country in the world mm -hmm. yeah and our capital city is jakarta jakarta is located in java here if you can see my pointer so jakarta is located in here but our government uh, they will uh, move the capital city into another island to Borneo Island here. Where? Still oh, oh okay. What's the, name? What's the name of the island again? Uh, Borneo. Borneo, the capital, new capital city, right? Yes, this one. And uh, uniquely, uh, in Borneo, we shared a border with Malaysia. Mm. So our capital city will, uh, will close to Malaysia, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And then next is our best food in Indonesia. First one is a uh, rendang. This is a beef comes from uh, West Sumatra. If you see the map of Indonesia, rendang is uh, came from uh, West Sumatra. This is a beef with uh, some spices. And this one is this this food actually is the most delicious food in the world according to CNN in 2017. Mm -hmm. And the second one is nasi goreng. This is an Indonesian fried rice. And it this food is the second most delicious food according to CNN in the world. This is wow. still delicious. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. But actually I cannot I cannot uh like explain further because I just eat this, not cook this food. Have to try have to go there and try by myself now. Yeah. yeah sure, you have to, you have to. And then you have to go to Indonesia to try this one. I will, yeah. I will, don't worry. <laughs> and then uh, you talk about tourist place. Actually, in Indonesia, we have a lot of tourist place or tourist destinations. Maybe you know Bali, right? Bali Island. But in this uh, time, in this occasion, I will not talk about Bali because I think a lot of people know about Bali. So if I comes up with Bali, uh, nothing here from me. So I will uh, put this one. Danau Toba. It is uh, actually a lake, Toba Lake, located in Sumatra, in uh, North Sumatra. And then the mm -hmm. unique thing is, inside the lake, there is an island. 
so an island inside a lake wow this, interesting yeah this is a tourist destination that the government of indonesia uh, developed recently and then yeah you should go there also mm. and then this one is raja ampat if uh, if danau toba located if toba lake located in sumatra the western side of indonesia Raja Ampat is located in the eastern side of Indonesia. So I give you end-to-end -end option, a tourist mm. destination. Raja it's Ampat big. is yeah. Raja Ampat is a like sea, uh, mm -hmm. located in Papua Island. Yeah, this is also the one of the uh, beautiful uh, destination from uh, for tourists to go. Mm. Still, not many people go there, so it means the uh, the the condition of the nature still like a uh, like pure 100 percent yeah so uh we go to next is about indonesian language so the name of indonesian language is bahasa indonesia first uh i just put like a general uh, word general uh language to start a conversation so we start from uh how are you in indonesia is apa kabar so we emphasize on the R. What I like mm -hmm. from Indonesian language is we read all of the words. We read all of the uh, alphabetical. Like apa kabar in English is how are you? And then you can answer I'm fine. Kabar saya baik. So like Holland, apa kabar? Kabar saya baik. Baik. Okay. <laughs> It's okay, your, your first time. Yeah, my first time. My first time to try this. I need more practice. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, it's a normal thing. And then uh, I also put four magic words. This is my favorite words because so important. And Indonesian people also uh, very uh, happy if you say this one. I think not only Indonesia, but all of the, all over the world will happy if you say this one. The first one is uh, thank you. In Indonesia is terima kasih. So like. Apa kabar? How are you? Kabar saya baik. Yeah. I'm fine, thank you. Kabar saya baik. Terima kasih. And then, like, uh, if you want to say sorry, is maaf in Indonesia. Maaf. And then, uh -huh. uh, excuse me, uh, is uh, permisi. And then, please, silahkan. So, like, uh, yeah, please, silahkan, and so on. So, like, uh, yeah, and I can say some of the words uh, of Bahasa Indonesia. Uh, it uh, have a similarity, has a similarity with Arabian language and also Philippines and Malay Malaysian language, Malay language. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I see. So yeah, I think that's all from Indonesia. The 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 countries, my countries, the food, the tourist destinations, and also the language. And I like I'm going to remember. Yes. Remember the four magic keywords. Thank you for sharing with us. I will yes. practice. You know, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Sorry. Excuse me. And please, yeah. let me go there. Yeah. And now, actually, I'm going to practice with you later on. Okay. Yes, yes. So. Thank you so much for sharing in such insightful information about your home country and, you know, also your student experiences at the university. Well, I have an update for you, Figo. Did you know that you know, starting this August 2021, we are going to have a new MBA program called the XMBA. Okay. We have Mm -hmm. Yes, XMBA. XMBA is going to be held on, well, conducted every Saturdays from 8.30 to 5 p.m. And it's for like, you know, it's encouraged for those who have like work experience, like two or three years to apply for that. And then your global MBA is still, you know, weekdays, 6 to 9 p.m. Yeah. So That's if you have any friends, you can like apply for those two programs as well. Sure, sure. Yeah. I will. I would love to recommend uh, UTCC to my friends in Indonesia. Yeah. So just like you can email us uh, um, at ism underscore graduate at utcc.ac.th. Yes. So Figo, would you like to add or share with us anything else to our like audience and friends? Um, yeah, actually, uh, when you study it in UTCC, based on my experience, yeah, you will get a lot of um, benefits like uh, international networks 
and then uh, not only from the students but also from the teachers because yeah most of them they have a lot of uh, in connection with uh, another important person and then the teachers also keen to help to help you every time so yeah you will get a better a good in environment in UTCC and mm. one more thing is uh, I hope that oh, in the future UTCC will attract mm, Indonesian students here hopefully yes that's yeah. one of our you know goals to have more students like you actually, because... actually UTCC already uh, prepare a merchandise for for Indonesian people like what I wear this one is a official polo shirt of UTCC and then this one is my uh, country flag so yeah you need Indonesian students more we need, yeah we definitely need yeah we need more like you know in students from Indonesia well thank you so much you know for taking the time today Figo to come and talk with me and share with us and our friends and audience about you know your experiences and your home country really appreciate it yeah. yes. thank you also for me for the opportunity yes no my pleasure well well that's it for our talk today and see you all in the next one thank you bye bye